Is that mom on the phone? Why? I'm just worried about her, that's all. Have you heard from her? Not since this morning. Is there a problem? Yeah, better let her tell you about that. Wait. Did something happen with Reva? Not Reva. Cassie. She found out the truth about Edmund. They tried to play whack-a-mole with Jeffrey's head and started that fire in the barn. Nice. Couldn't keep your mouth shut, huh? That the thanks we get for trying to protect this family? What do you mean, we? Well, I guess I pulled the trigger on the thing, but Reva loaded the gun. Are you okay? No, of course you're not. I am so sorry you had to find out about Edmund the way you did. I know you must be shocked. But Cassie, Edmund is dangerous. He almost killed your friend. You and RJ could have died in that fire, and I just wanted you to be safe, you and the kids. I'm so sorry. No, you're not. This is what you wanted all along. What the? What? Edmund, I warned you. Get your hands off of me, Edmund. You just had to tell her, didn't you, Mr. O'Neill? You just had to tell Cassie. Well, that was a bad move on your part. Because if she leaves me, I have nothing left to lose. You know, maybe I should finish what I started in that barn. I didn't do that, Edmund, okay? I didn't file the charges against you. Fine, then. Who did? Look at you, you know? You are caught red-handed, and you're just looking for someone else to blame. We were happy, Mr. O'Neill. We were this far from conceiving a child. I would have done anything to protect her. From what, Edmund? From you? Look, why don't you do the right thing for once in your life and get out of Cassie's life? Give her a real chance at happiness, okay? Mom's worried about Cassie. That's why she went to O'Neill, having put together the complaint against Edmund. Well, I figured she told you all this. You showed the complaint to Cassie. Yeah. Why am I going to wait for Uncle Eddie to strike a gun? We all know he's dangerous with the small fries. First me, then RJ. He almost charboiled the little Jonathan, guy. come on. You don't care about Cassie or her family. This is about you punishing Edmund for destroying your childhood. I didn't have to do anything. Uncle Eddie hung himself. What about Reva, then? Huh? Do you care at all about what you're doing to her? It was all her idea. You've done nothing more than drive a wedge, more of a wedge, between her and her sister. Is that part of your master plan, Jonathan? Yeah, that's me, puppet master, pulling my strings. I know it's eating at you, though. Reva confided in me, not you, again. Better put in that 911 call to Dr. Phil, try and get the old trust factor back in your marriage before it's too late, huh? Look, I was shocked about Edmund, too. I didn't want to believe it. That's a lie. You've had an end for him all along, No, Eva. I admit that I was never as sure about him as you were, but I wanted to believe he'd changed because of you. How'd you find out? Does it matter? The fact is, I handled it wrong. I should have come to you the minute I found out. Then why didn't you, Reva? If you were so worried about me? Because, Cassie, I tried the night we were having dinner here. But you were so full of hope for the future with you and Edmund and, and, and a baby. So I didn't want to ruin your happiness. You wait till we're in the middle of this in vitro process? Well, that's perfect I know, timing. I know, and I'm sorry. I am. Cassie, look. Edmund had you somewhere. He had taken you somewhere. We didn't know where you were. For all we knew, you might have been in San Cristobal in that tower again locked up. So you go to Jeffrey, and you have him file a complaint. I had to do something to find you, to get Edmund to bring you back. OK, so what was the plan? Please tell me. Was I supposed to wake up in the morning and open my door and find the cops standing out there I waiting to arrest my sure husband? I wasn't sure that I was going to file charges. Then how did the papers wind up at the Beacon? I don't know. Must have been some kind of a mistake, a clerical error from the DA's office. Doesn't really ma matter, Cassie. What's important is that you're safe and the kids are safe, and I will help you through this. Yeah, now that you've gotten what you've wanted, you're going to take care of me. That's really nice, Reba. 
That's not what I meant. You know, all this warm, loving concern? It's crap. Riva. This is about revenge, and you got it. I hope it's satisfying. I'm beginning to think you've developed an unnatural relationship with your mother. Like Hamlet? More like Norman Bates. <laughs> oh, yeah. Better remember that next time you're in the shower. <laughs> I don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> Psycho's more Uncle Eddie's thing, though. Stab them when they're at their most vulnerable, unable to defend themselves. Yeah. Sort of like what you did with Tammy when you went after her, right? Yeah, well, we all get hit on at some point in life. If you're smart, you wise up and move on. Or not. I guess some just don't make the cut. Nobody's ever gonna mess with me again, though. I couldn't defend myself against Alfred when I was a little kid, but I got Edmund before he could get me. You're nothing more than a bully. You know that? Not too much different than the men you hate. But hey, you know, go for it. See how it works out. I'm not looking for anything. Well, that's good. Because you're going to end up exactly how you started. Alone. Only this time it's going to be a little worse. Because when you get there, you're going to know what you could have had. You're going to know what you missed. Cassie knows I love her. Love her? Edmund, you just locked her away from everything and everyone that she loves. That was to protect her and our baby. Oh, come on, Edmund. Face it. You got no one to blame here but yourself. Just stay away from her. I'm not the problem, Edmund. You are. And with any luck, Cassie will finally see that and walk. Cassie loves him, Mr. O'Neill. Even now. So don't get your hopes up. You don't stand a chance with her. I'm not looking for a chance. Oh, my God, man. Of course you are. You always have been. I'm not the only one who sees it. Cassie sees it, too. She feels sorry for you. So don't kid yourself, Mr. O'Neill. You are the last man in the world she would ever want. Cassie, I never wanted to hurt you. You know, no, wait, you know what's funny? Is that for months now, I have been trying to convince you how evil Jonathan is. And it just must make you so happy to realize that I don't have a clue about my husband. There isn't anything happy about this. I hate this. Do you? I don't like to see this pain in your eyes. I don't want you to have to go through this. But you have to know in your heart that it's better that you know now. Go, Reva. Just get out of no, here. No, I'm not going to leave you like this. Fine, then I'll go. No, okay. Cassie, you can be angry at me. That's fine. But I'm not the one that attacked Jeffrey in that barn, and neither is Jonathan. couldn't. This morning we were so happy. Planning for the baby. It's like a dream now. Um, did you know before, I mean, did the embryos, did you go ahead and have Reba. them? Reba. Reba. You headed off the transfer, okay? I'm not pregnant. Part of me wishes I was. And cutting Edmund out of my life really wouldn't be an option. You can't be thinking about staying with him. You can't because I won't let you. Stop telling me what to do. I wish I didn't have to. Edmund loves me. He is hurting as much as I am, Reva. I mean, when I, when I walked out of that hotel room, he trashed. 
crashed the place. He was in so much pain. Sounds to me like he was out of control. Please, you've got to stay away from him. I can't imagine leaving him. And I can't imagine staying with him. Okay. Okay. Then please just give yourself some time. 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 The embryos are at the clinic waiting to be transferred. Okay. Call the clinic. Have them frozen. Just give yourself the chance to make a decision. No, I don't want to talk about this with you. Okay, okay, fine. Then just, uh, I'll take you. I'll take you home. We'll get RJ and Will and we'll go home. Home? Yes. To your home? Yes. Do you think that I want to deal with Jonathan on top of all Jonathan this, Jonathan won't bother you, honey, I promise. It is because of Jonathan, Reva. What? You are so blinded by your hatred of Edmund, and you are so obsessed with Jonathan that you don't even see what you've done. Cassie. I don't trust you, Reva. I don't even know who you are, Reva. Oh, you know what Jonathan's got? What he wanted. I lost my sister. Shall I watch my back? You and Uncle Billy gonna strap me to a Bronco and chase me off the edge of a cliff? Not that that would help your relationship with Reva, of course. No, probably not, but... It would certainly make my day. Well, if you're so sure I don't stand a chance with Cassie, why'd you try to kill me that night in the barn? Fun? You know, she's always had her doubts about you and your self-control. That's why she comes to me, Edmund, in her time of need. She knows I'm not gonna freak out in a crisis or lie to her. My God, you've been lying to her all along, haven't you, Mr. O'Neill? I'm curious, have you told her about your impersonating Richard down in San Cristobal? No, I didn't think so. It's because you're too much of a coward. No, a coward is someone who would strike someone in the dark with his back turned. Hey, hey, Edmund, Edmund, back off, back off. What are you doing, huh? You want to lose everything? You want to end up in jail? You go somewhere and cool off. You stay away from my wife. Just go, Edmund, right now. You okay? I'm fine, thanks. Thanks, Josh. You seen Cassie? No, I don't know where she is. All right, I'm gonna try to find her. You're the DA, man. How much longer are you gonna let that guy mess with you? I'd stay away from Eddie Boy for a while if I were you. 